When you purchase an application from Triangle Microworks, you will receive a product key. This product key must be activated on the PC that will hold the license for the application. The product key can be activated on the target PC through an internet connection or by using the manual offline process. This video demonstrates how to activate the license using the manual offline process. Another video demonstrates how to activate the license if an internet connection is available. If your product is not currently licensed, then when you start it, you'll receive a license error message. Click Open License Manager, and you'll be taken to the License Manager dialog. If your product is already licensed, for example if you're using the 21-day evaluation version, then you can access the License dialog by clicking Help, License. In the License Manager dialog, click on Activate Product Key. And then, in the Offline Activation section, click Create C2V. From this dialog, you can choose where to save the file. I'm going to save it on my USB drive, and you can choose the file name. You can name it anything you want as long as you leave the extension as C2V. C2V stands for Customer to Vendor, and is a file type that is recognized by the Triangle Microworks license server. Once you've selected a location and name for the file, click Save. You can then close the dialog and move to a computer with internet access to activate the license. Next, go to a PC that does have internet access and that can access the license file. Since I saved the file on a USB drive, I can just take that file to another PC that does have internet access. From there, I will launch the browser and go to https licensing.trianglemicroworks.com slash ems slash customerlogin.html The browser then displays the customer login portal. Enter the product key that you receive from Triangle Microworks and click login. Review the licensing information to be sure it's correct. There should be a non-zero value in the remaining field indicating that one or more activations are available for this key. If everything looks correct, click the Offline Activation button. Then upload the C2V file that we previously saved. and then click Generate. The license is generated on the server and now needs to be downloaded. Click on the Download V2C file link to download the file. Depending on your browser, the file may automatically be downloaded to a Downloads folder, or it may open a browser and allow you to choose the location to save the file. Using Chrome, it's automatically downloaded to the Downloads folder, so I can show the folder and see my V2C file. I'm going to copy this file to my USB drive. Note that V2C stands for Vendor to Customer and represents one instance of the license file. I can now look on my USB drive and see that I have the V2C file. Now that a copy of my V2C file has been saved on the USB drive, I need to return to the PC that I want to license and install the license. On the PC where I want to install the product, I need to launch the product and go to Help, License. I then choose Activate Product Key, and this time I'll click on Install V2C in the Offline Activation section. This opens a browser, and I will browse to the V2C file that I saved. I select the V2C file and select Open. Now I have the dialog that says the license was installed correctly, but I need to restart the application in order for the change to take effect. So I exit the application. And restart it. Now I go to Help License. And I can verify that I have a permanent license with an active maintenance plan installed. 
As you can see, it's easy to install a license on a PC that does not have internet access. However, you do need to be able to access another PC with internet access so that you can save off the C2V file, go to a PC with internet access, generate the VTC file, and then return to the PC to be licensed and install the V2C file. Once you do that, your new product will be fully licensed.